You know, in all of our electrical installation work, we talk a lot about using conduit bodies, LBs and LRs and stuff like that. We connect them into our conduit to help us make these 90 degree turns where you're going to use them for wire pulling. Let's take a minute and talk about these conduit bodies. They're certainly super convenient because they allow you to make a hard 90 degree turn in your conduit. But you can't just yank and pull your wires at 90 degrees. It can really damage the insulation of that wire. These conduit bodies are part of a group of components called pull boxes. And the whole idea is that they allow you to pull wires out and then put them back in to conduit so that you can make a 90 degree turn gently without harming the wire. And here's an illustration of what we mean. You'd actually pull the wire up from one conduit all the way out of the box, way out, maybe a foot or so, bend it gently, push it back in, stick it out through the other hole, and then allow it to be pulled by somebody else on the other way. You'd have somebody down below fishing the wire into the conduit. You'd have somebody at this body pulling it out and then putting it back in. And then you'd have somebody at the other end pulling it on to where it's going to finally go. There are many types and shapes to these conduit bodies. So let's start taking a look at them. This is an LR type body. L means it's got an L type shape. And R means the exit is on the right side when you're facing the cover. Here's a similar type body, but this is an LL. So that means that it's L-shaped, and the exit is on the left side when you're facing the cover. And here's another type that's similar. This is an LB, so that means it's L-shaped, and the exit is on the bottom or the back when you're facing the cover. Here's a conduit body that has a T-shape, so it's called the T-type. And here's another variation of the T-type, but this one is a TB because the exit is on the back of the body. And here's a couple of bodies that are called elbow types. Uh, they're good for making really sharp turns, let's say, around the corner of a building or something like that. There's a final point that I want to make. Sometimes, instead of just pulling wires in and out around corners, you use these things for splicing wires. This picture is a little nasty, but it shows the idea of splicing wires inside of a body. And there's a rule that you've got to follow. The manufacturer must have stamped onto or inside of the conduit body the volume of the body's uh, interior. Those are the only kind of products that can actually be allowed to have splices made inside of them. Here's a nice example of what I'm talking about. This is an LB, and you can see that the manufacturer has stamped inside the volume of the cavity uh, of the body. Here's just another example, and it shows again that the manufacturer has stamped inside the volume that's inside the conduit body. Well, that's really it. I just wanted to show you that there's a whole family of these uh, cool things called conduit bodies. We use them all the time in your installations. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.